Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Next Cave. I'm JTK, your host, and let's get right into it. But before I do, I want y'all to do me one small favor. I want y'all to hit that like button. I want y'all to subscribe. I want y'all to leave a comment. And if you want to know when the next video is going to drop, I want y'all to hit that notification bell. So let's get right into it. Like I said, let's get right into it. But before we get into it, there's one more thing I want. I want y'all to listen to this clip right here real quick. They don't bring it on a nightly basis. I'm talking the starting unit. And if they, there's been plenty of time throughout the year to show that they, they work well together. I, I just don't know how they continue on like this. You know, that's the definition of insanity, is seeing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. That right there, that was Jeff Van Gundy. And he was explaining how the, the starting five of the New York Knicks play and what he think of them. And he's right, but to a certain extent, I got a different analysis and saying, and I'm not going to say that Evan Foyer could be, couldn't be playing better, um, Kimber Walker, but Kimber Walker had an excuse. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little bit on Kimber Walker's side. I don't think he really, and I know a lot of y'all might disagree with me, but I don't think he really got a chance to do what he's supposed to be doing when they brung him in. But as Jeff Van Gundy was talking about the starting five, and like I said, my my. My opinion, and right now I'm going to be honest with my opinion, the one thing is Julius Randle. And with that being said, the Knicks going to have some tough questions that need to be answered over the next few weeks. And one question is, is what's the best version of Julius Randle for this organization moving forward? I mean, he's been acting like a diva. Um, he, gave, he gave the thumbs down to the crowd. Matter of fact, he, he, got, he got a fan kicked out of the, um, the garden the other night just, just by quoting him his stats. By telling the man that he's a minus on the plus and minus stats. And he got mad and kicked the man out, got the man kicked out the game. All right. The other question is, how do this organization get the best out of Julius Randle night in and night out? I mean, last year, I'm not going to lie to you, it was incredible. Julius Randle, he led us to a surprising playoff run. But this year, I'm going to be honest with you, he sucked. You know what I'm saying? Mooka's going to come out. He's not, he's, not, he's not the same player. He's been inconsistent. Like I said, he's been acting like a diva. And to top it off, dude's struggling. He's struggling right now. And, that, and with two weeks left, two weeks left before the trade deadline, I think the Knicks going to have to take a long, hard look. I mean, a very long, hard look and ask themselves, what do we want from Julius Randle moving forward? All right? Is he our number one? Is he our number two? Is he our number three? They're going to have to sit back and, and just think about it because what do they want on the court as an organization? To, well, I mean, excuse me, what do they got to do on the court as, a, as an organization to get the best out of Julius Randle? I mean, they extended him, to, they extended him in the offseason. He's going to be here for several more years. He's under contract. Matter of fact, the Knicks have him pegged as one of the pieces of the future of the organization. So... What they going to do? As an organization, they're going to have to make this work. And when I say as an organization, I mean Leon Rose. What you going to do to get the best out of um, Julius Randle? Um, William Wesley. What are you going to do to get the best out of Julius Randle? Tom Thibodeau. What are you going to do to get the best out of Julius Randle? And we all see what you're doing, Tom. You, 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 catering, you catering this dude. You, you rocking by him like a baby. You let him do what he want. You're not holding him accountable. And it's it's breaking up the locker room, Tom Thibodeau. But I have another question, and it's for Kenny Payne. What are you going to do, Kenny? What are you going to do to get the best out of Julius Randle? And the reason I ask you this, Kenny Payne, because you were, you played the instrumental part last year in getting Julius Randle the best out of Julius Randle, helping him get lead us to the playoffs. But this year, I don't know. So... I'm asking you, what you want to do, Kenny? But the most important part, and I'm, I'm asking all these other people what they going to do, but well, we have to ask Julius Randle. What are you, Julius Randle, going to do to get the best out of Julius Randle? These are the tough questions because right now we're going out every other night and we're getting our butt. We're getting our butt whacked, beat, beat down, beat, beat, beat down, blown out. You're not look, um, Julius Randle's not looking competitive. He's not playing defense. He's not doing nothing. Like I said, the most important thing is, Julius Randle, what are you going to do to get the best out of Julius Randle? 
And like I said, these there's, there's, there, there's some tough questions they're going to have to ask, and these are the questions that need to be answered. Because, like I said, excuse me, I said that, I, <laughs> there's a couple of weeks left until the trade deadline. And if they decide they can't get the best version out of Julius Randle for this um, organization, do they trade him? Do they trade him at the deadline? Or do they trade him in off season? And I know, me, myself included, there has been a lot of psychological, psychological an analysis of this dude, what's going on, what's wrong, why he's playing the way he's playing. And I'm not going to get into all that right now. But I know it's clear, the dude is not bringing it every night. He's not running up and down the court. He's not sprinting. He's not giving 100% on defense. As a matter of fact, effort. He's not even playing defense. You know what I'm saying? When we do play defense, it's, lack, it's lackluster. I mean, I mean, the man, hmm, we see it. We see it. So the question for the New York Knicks is what are you, what y'all going to do? What y'all going to do with Julius Randle? So how do they get the best out of Julius Randle on a nightly basis? And if that can't happen, then what's the next step? What, what's the next step for Julius Randle in the New York Knicks? What's the next step? You know I mean, there has been reports earlier this week that one team that was in contact with the New York Knicks came, in with, came away with the impression that Julius Randle was up for grab. And we all heard the reports, and I know I'm a little bit late, um, that the veterans are up for grab come trade deadline. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what can we get for Julius Randle? I don't think we can get anything. I hear people talking about Sacramento... And I think that would just, I don't know. I don't, um, the, Fox been in his league for a while. And what have he done? What, what are we going to trade off? If, if anything, we can rock with Julius Randle. This, we just got to mix up the goddamn rotation. Ju, um, Tom Thibodeau is being very stubborn. Uh, he don't want to put Cam in. I think, let me tell you something. I think a, a rotation with Cam and Grimes on the floor gives us a good chance on defense. Not only defense, offense, because both of these dudes are very potential high uh, when it comes to th shooting three-pointers. Everybody got these dudes going high, make, making, you know what I'm saying, making a name for themselves in the 3 and D category. So I don't know what's wrong with Tom Thibodeau. That's another video. But right now, Julius Randle, what do the New York Knicks do with Julius Randle? What do we do moving forward? How do we get this man to play like he played last year? When he came in the first year, we gave him a we gave him a break because it was the first year. We know the bright lights of New York City. Second year, he wild he wowed us. He's impressed us. He had us thinking of dare I say it, championship or at least going to the conference final. Everything just changed. What do the Knicks do to get the best version of Julius Randle? Yes, you heard me. What do, what can they do? But with that being said, I want everybody out there to stay safe. Stay healthy, God bless, and peace.